This video explains the contents of the iRacing Suit template. It's a rather simple template to work with. The iRacing Suit template is downloaded from the Design Your Suit tab in the Paint booth. Click on the Download Template button. How to export paints to TGA files and upload to Trading Paints is explained in another video, which is linked in the description. Note, suits do not have specular maps. The suit paints are exported to a TGA file named suit underscore member ID TGA in the documents iRacing paint folder. Suit paints and iRacing are 1024 pixels by 1024 which is half the resolution of the car template. The low resolution is not ideal. When zoomed in, suit paints have a soft or fuzzy look. Because the suit is so small, they kinda look okay when watching a race. As a general guideline, avoid fine lines and complex detail, simple designs work well. Let's go through the template content. The first layer group is named Turn Off before exporting TGA. This layer is not part of the suit paint, turn it off before exporting your paint. This layer provides limited guidance while painting the suit. There is an iRacing copyright image, we never need to see that. The wire layer is mildly useful as it shows contours. Sometimes it's helpful to export the suit paint with the wire frame. Then look at the suit in the paint booth. Use the wires as guidance for where you want lines and decals placed. The mask takes away the background and makes parts stand out. I have added top to bottom arm direction arrows to this layer as a reminder. An updated suit template link has been provided in the video description. The paintable area group layer is the actual suit paint. This is where you paint the suit. This is what you export to TGA for eye racing and trading paints. Let's go through the contents. The template group contains pre-painted suit parts. These can save a lot of time getting parts and trims correctly aligned. You can recolor these as desired. The neck and belt trims are nice to have. Then we have layers for the neck lapels and belt. These are used for the base colors of those parts. The next layer is the torso. This is not very useful, it's only there as a parts helper. The next layers are classic side stripes with trim. There are two versions of these, the first pair are wider, the second pair are narrower. Hide the ones you don't use. The orange layers are the stripes, the black layers are the trim. The next layer is the pants. This layer is not very useful, it's only there as a parts helper. The next layer is the sleeves. This layer is not very useful, it's only there as a parts helper. The radio and other parts are the only items within the template you cannot change. They are in the template only to show their location and color. These are worn by the pit crew as per this image. The next two layers are little boxes for you to define the cap and headphone colors. The third box is the color of the pit crew helmet. The next three layers are shoes for both the driver and the pit crew. The sole, base color and panel overlay are all separate layers. You can download different shoe brands from the old iRacing forum, Sparco, Simpson, Oakley, etc. The next layer is a box that controls the color of the driver gloves. The next two layers are the pit crew gloves, a base color and overlay panel. Next we have a group with the eye racing predefined suit patterns. These can be a useful starting point for your suit. They are all colored in pure RGB. You can use color channel selections of these parts, then use that selection to color your suit as desired. One point to bear in mind. The suit has various wrinkles. When detailed lines or decals go through some areas of the suit, distortion will occur. You have to move your line or decal away from the area creating distortion. Or you can warp your decal to compensate for the distortion. Here is a finished example of a simple suit paint. Here are some funny and unconventional examples.